G'day, John for the hot end again. Today I'm going to do uh, a bit of an opinion piece. This one is not a review as such. It's just about what I like to print with. Okay, there's been a couple of uh, reviews done on various filaments regarding their, their strength. Test your might. <laughs> uh, strength test videos. I think Tom did one a while back, and there was another one done just recently on on the the strength of various filaments, as in uh, ABS, uh, PETGs, PLAs, nylons, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm I don't print parts, engineering parts uh, per se. Uh, I'm more into printing models and, and um, fun stuff, stuff that I find uh, on Trimpy or, or uh, Thingiverse. And I print for fun. I print because I like the things uh, and I like using my printers, uh, of which I have three running at the moment. I have the Volgatech FT5, as you probably know, uh, which I've done a couple of modifications on. You can get the Volgatech FT5 through the, uh, the hot end discount code, by the way. There's a link here. I also have a Wombot Exilus, uh, and I also have a TiVo Tarantula. All of those printing printers are running at the moment, and they all turn out good stuff. The FT5 in particular is turning out nice prints at the moment because I've done some modifications. I've added a BPS V3 extruder hot end and there's again a link to that here. Uh, I've also semi-enclosed it and I'll get to that in a minute. So what I thought I'd do is do a comparison of uh, different filaments that I had laying around that various companies send us. They send us uh, samples and spools for us to do reviews on. So I ended up with quite a few different types of filament. And as I said, this is not a, uh, a review on brands. This is, I'm talking about actual filament types. All up, I think I printed seven different filament types. Now I'm not talking about brands here, I'm talking filament types. So there was uh, a normal PLA, there was a, an experimental PLA, there was a recycled PET, there was a normal ABS, and there was a thing called an NGEN, which is a type of um, PETG product. There was also a thing called HD glass. Um, again, I've, there were uh, various brands involved in there, but uh, I, I haven't noted which brands is which. I'm purely talking about the type of filament and how to print it and what I like to print with basically. So you'll see a series of photos going through. Um, I took these photos with my uh, macro camera um, which unfortunately when you use a macro lens and you can get up really really close uh, a model that you think looks really cool can all of a sudden look really crappy. Um, this goes for any any filament, by the way. Um, it's just the nature of 3D printing. That's how it looks when you get up really close. But I did it anyway, just so that you can get an idea of what uh, of what it looks like. So, what do I print with? What is my go-to filament when I want to print a detailed model like this? Um, this might surprise a few of you, some of you not, because I've spoken to you already. My, uh, my filament of choice is ABS, normal common garden variety ABS, and there are a few reasons why. Um, I'll go through uh, my second and third favourites as well before I go any further. Second favourite would be this one here which was a uh, Polymaker product called PC Max. And the other one that I really like is Common Garden Variety PLA. Just your normal everyday stuff that you can buy anywhere. The others all have excellent uses, but for what I do, 
detailed models that, uh, that really look good. They don't have to be strong, but look good. Uh, these are my preferred ones. As you'll see by the photos, the other models are quite good. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with them. They printed up quite nicely. To me, the standout is, is standard ABS. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I like ABS. Firstly, it goes down nice and smooth. Um, I, I can't explain why I say that because they all come out of the nozzle the same and they all look pretty much the same when they come through. But ABS to me just seems smoother when it comes out of the nozzle. To me, it prints detail much nicer than anything else that I use. Now, a lot of people have trouble with ABS, mainly with uh, bed adhesions. I'll be doing another video shortly on my experiences with printing ABS uh, and how to do it well. For the purpose of this video, it's purely my opinion and what I like to use. You may have different circumstances. If you, for instance, print a lot of uh, engineering type materials, materials that are used for parts for equipment or whatever. If you're printing things like um, quadcopters and uh, radio control cars and boats and, and uh, parts for normal cars even, uh, then you need the strength. So you, you really need to be going for PETG uh, or stuff of that ilk that, uh, that gives you that strength but still prints nicely. Uh, but for me, for models, ABS is the go. And as I say, there'll be another video follow up to this on how I print my ABS, but it's completely up to you what you like to use, your set of circumstances, your printer, where your printer is, uh, how you set your printer up. You may like PETG better. Um, great. My opinion, ABS is the way to go. Okay, see you next time. Uh, you're right there. Uh, uh. Uh, uh.